Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm expert to your own research. Uh, today, I just want to review a few altcoins that look pretty interesting to me. Uh, the first will be KNC, Kyber Network. This is a coin that has flourished, relatively speaking, uh, compared to the rest of the market. And this was going up while many other altcoins was, uh, they were all going down. What are we looking at right now? We see that KNC tapped the top of the market around 240 or so top of the range, not market. Uh, and this was a predictable area. And this is a chart that I've been using for the last several weeks or months. Um, currently, this is actually a pretty interesting area of support. And I think this is a pretty good long area, to be frank and honest with you. Uh, the reason is that the 200 day EMA is right here at the equilibrium of this range. And if I use volume profile as well, uh, this is just like, you know, it's like a very, uh, high volume node area. So generally speaking, this should be pretty solid support. And um, I think it's a pretty good area to long personally. Uh, as I said, this has been pretty strong given the rest of the market. And I think that uh, this, w when a coin looks pretty strong, um, when everything else is dumping, th those are the ones to pay attention to. So I think it's pretty easy to just go ahead and long this area. It's, it's more of an inactive trade. I don't know if this is going to be like super, super strong. Like it's not going to like pull like a, you know, 30% date or anything like that. But I think that for like kind of a slower active swing trade, this is like a decent, um, opportunity. And this is probably one that I'll consider logging as well. Um, let's look at Solana. Solana is entering an area of high time frame support. This is de a demand area right around this uh, 80 to 60 dollar area. This is an area of interest, to, uh, in my opinion. Uh, anywhere from like the mid 60s all the way to 80 or so, this has been an area of support. And you can see right here that with the high volume node, this, um, this area should act as support. And we're seeing that um, initially this first tap from uh, 80 all the way up to 120, and obviously prices uh, since moved down. It wouldn't surprise me at all to see this go a little bit lower eventually. I don't know when or how or um, when it's going to happen, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me for this to go a little bit lower eventually. But for now, we are seeing this area act as support uh, once again today. But again, it wouldn't surprise me at all to see this go to the mid-low 60s. Um, I think that the mid low 60s uh, all the way to 80 this is like an interesting area of support and i think that it's if you are looking for a long longer term position in solana this is like an area that i would look for um and if that area fails if you scroll back a little bit um to uh you know farther back time frames um then i think that like this kind of 40 dollar area would be like the next area personally um, but that's only if Bitcoin really shits the bed. If like you see it go to like, you know, I don't know, like 25K or, or you know, 28K or something like that, then this should lose another 50% in my, in my opinion. Um, but I think that the the mid 60s to $80 is still like an area of interest for me. And I would personally just go ahead and just dollar cost average in around this area. You can set a stop below uh, this like kind of mid 60s level, uh, depending on where you buy, of course, and, and, and your overall timeline for strategy. But those are kind of my uh, overall thoughts on Solana. I, again, not a very, very active trade. Um, I don't think that many altcoins are going to be super, super active in the sense that you'll see them like have mind blowing gains. Um, like there's no doubt that all coins will eventually like have a very, very strong move from the bottom, wherever this bottom will be. I don't know, or when it will be. Um, but when all coins do bottom, they're going to go like two to four X from the bottom. Um, that's almost certain. Uh, again, don't know what it's going to look like or how, but I strongly feel that many altcoins are going to go like, you know, pretty strong once they do bottom out. But again, it's, it's, it's going to be violent at first. Um, before that happens, like, you know, we might see like one big last shakeout and then, uh, like some recovery. I, it, it might look like a V-shaped recovery. It might look like an accumulation bottom. I, again, I don't know what it's going to look like, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to see, you know, coins like, 
you know, do a few, several percentage from, from the top. Like even if, or from the bottom, even if this goes to like mid sixties, it's not, uh, out of the question for this to squeeze, you know, all the way up to like the low two hundreds or something like that. Um, all coins will always dump harder than you think and pump much harder than you think. And that's just the way, way of things. Um, but for, for now, I think that Solana is a decent area where you would just want to get long around, uh, the, the mid sixties or so. Um, and just dollar cost average in, uh, is, is my personal strategy, uh, for this phantom. Let's look at Phantom. Phantom's still a very popular coin. I think that Phantom is uh, about right at an area of high time frame support. Um, if you look here, right around like this 150-ish area, all the way down to 115, this like area has um, shown to be pretty strong support uh, over over um, over two specific time periods. Uh, the first being September 2021, and then the second, it built this base in late, uh, I'm sorry, early mid December, and again had another uh, run up. So it would make sense again to see this like kind of chop around and kind of form some sort of weird bottom. And overall, you're going to look for some sort of range between 120 to three bucks. Um, that's kind of my overall opinion. I, I don't see this going to all time high levels anytime soon. Um, and you could even make the argument that um, like this area has been bid quite a bit in the past and it's probably like it maybe might not hold again. Like I certainly could get behind that argument and see um, this is basically just take a big nosedive all the way. Um, like the next area of support would be like a buck. So, you know, not saying it's going to happen, but if Bitcoin does take a shit, then we will see a dollar or sub dollar uh, prices. But for now, I do believe that we're going to see some sort of bottom forming anywhere from like 120 to 150 or so. Um, I think that it's likely that we just, you know, form some sort of bottom and chop around for a while. Uh, that's like similar to what we saw back in like early December or uh, late September. That is kind of my overall uh, thought process for FTM. I, I, I don't think this is really a great um, trade personally. I mean, it's an okay swing trade, but uh, but I think that most of the the attention is elsewhere in the short term. Let's look at Luna. Luna's held up very well relative to the rest of the market, and I think that it still looks pretty decent. If you look overall, it's one of the few coins that hasn't broken the 200-day EMA, and it's right at the 200-day EMA right now. Additionally, it's at this high volume node area, right around 50 bucks. And this, again, uh, usually a good area of support um, and resistance. So I think that it looks like it's forming a bottom, to be frank and honest with you. And Luna was one of the few coins that also did very, very strongly from the May dump. So if you remember, um, it was very, very strong and started to move. And it was one of the first mover, movers uh, after Bitcoin found its bottom in late July. This was one of the first movers for some of the other big layer one pumps. You know, we all remember Sol Luna, AVAX. Um, this was one of the leaders for layer ones. And it really, um, and, and really a leader for all coins. So it's possible now that we are seeing some sort of bottom being formed here. Uh, but again, I'm not so sure like how big of an upside move we're going to expect, but I do think that given the fact that Luna has maintained its structure overall and uh, kept the 200 day EMA, I do think that Luna looks better um, than most altcoins, at least from a downside pr uh, protection standpoint. Um, like I think this looks a lot better than a lot of all other altcoins in the sense that like I don't expect this to really nuke super hard um, relative to many other uh, altcoins. It's it still looks um, okay to me, and this would be an, a decent candidate for a swing trade in my opinion. And if you did just take a swing trade, you assume that these lows wouldn't get lost. Um, you know, you could set your stop. It depends on how you want to trade, too. It depends on, like, what what you, your strategy is. But, like, I would target personally kind of, like, these highs again. Uh, right. Again, I, I probably wouldn't long here, but um, but you can just target these immediate highs around $60. Uh, let's look at near near is a coin that I'm underwater on. Unfortunately, 
I did sell some before on this recent move, like uh, like eleven bucks to de-risk. But overall, it's still um, it did lose a two hundred day EMA, unlike Luna. And what we're seeing right now is price is below this point of control area, right around nine forty or so, nine thirty. I think that near is likely to find some support around this area um maybe a little bit lower like uh, like the high sevens but to me this still looks like you know this kind of overall chart is a little bit unclear to me i prefer using some of these weekly levels uh, on near because they're a lot more clean to me so for instance like this six the seven dollar area is very very attractive in my opinion um it's the weekly level as you can see price could not close above this area all throughout 2021 in um, kind of the early spring of 2021 and obviously we saw it get flipped where price uh, went up and now it's tapped it several times uh, as support and now once again it looks like it's about to hit um, support again so if you're patient with this one i would probably just go ahead and try to buy around seven bucks that looks like a very clean level to me personally on the weekly and um that's kind of like my like i'm, I'm still as i said over underwater here um I think that this entire area, with that said, should provide some decent support. There's high volume nodes all throughout, uh, but kind of like this mid sevens, uh, mid to low sevens area really looks pretty attractive in my opinion uh, for an entry. Uh, let's look at ETH BTC. ETH BTC is trading right at this kind of EQ area. And we have to remember that ETH BTC really has ha had long periods of ranging. So I remember it had like a multi-year ranging consolidation where it went, um, you know, basically went apeshit in 2017, then just died off in 2018. And then it really just chopped around, relatively speaking, uh, for a while. And then it exploded up. And now, in my opinion, again, it's once again ranging. So what's the range? It's 055 to 0, uh, 08 or 09 or so. And you can see it really a lot more clearly on the daily where um, this overall big move uh, has set the range where, you know, from top to bottom, um, price has stayed relatively, much, has, has stayed the same really for many months now. And it is interacting right now with the 200 day EMA and the EQ of this range. I'm personally not going to buy ETH BTC because I do believe that we're still going to see this consolidate, relatively speaking, for a lot longer. Like it wouldn't surprise me to see this chop both ways and hit both uh, ends of the range. Um, but uh, this would be like more of like a long term, just kind of like buy and hold. And, and Ethereum generally is like a better just buy and hold in general, too. Uh, in terms of like uh, some of the few crypto assets that y you are comfortable holding for like years, probably uh, like Ethereum is, is one of those coins. Um, anyways, like, yeah, not really an active trade. This is kind of just like a passive buy, in my opinion, if, if you want to um, get long around here. You could also get greedy and just go for the 055 level. Uh, if Bitcoin does take a shit, then this level should get tapped, in my opinion. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.